hi and welcome back so i've done a little bit of um dry brushing over the end of these engine exhausts just with the with the chrome silver just to add a bit of definition to them done on the side as well um i've added the engine intakes and can we get this in the light so you can see i have painted the silver inside for where the fans would be i've also attached the cameras to the front so these are still movable up up and down left and right and um, so now I'm going to be working on the underside so we're going to get all the undercarriage in place all the bombs and weapons built and in place this episode so first up is undercarriage um got the bits off been cleaning these up already so i'm going to get these painted get them attached and we'll have another look before we move on to the weapon systems Okay, so I have parts for the undercarriage all built up and painted. I've added, will we see it? I have added a few bits of silver in there as well, just to break it up slightly. While I was at it, I've also done the machine gun that goes here. That's all painted up. Um, we've got all the wheels painted. Uh, my hand painting isn't the greatest, so I'm not perfect on the silver. Um, all because of all this crap on my wrist. My hand doesn't work properly. But it's good uh, therapy for me doing things like this. Um, so I'll get these all glued in place. And we'll have a look at it standing on its undercarriage. Right, so I've got the other camera just looking so you can see underneath that it's all stood up nicely. Um, just turn it over. And we've got all the undercarriage in place. Main machine gun. Wheel, wheels in place as well now. This is coming along really nicely. Um, so next up, Is getting all the bombs in place I've already I painted these at the same time hold on let's see if we can focus so I painted the parts for the underneath already so we're going to get the all the bombs put together next stuck onto these and all in place so moving along right so i've got all the weapons put together built put together and painted and um, with these hellfires i've gone for the blue which is the inert which has got a nice color blue there um, I went for the inert because it's a the Japanese version is a training vehicle. Um, it should be done in medium blue, but I didn't have any in my stash. I couldn't be bothered to wait till tomorrow, so I've mixed up three parts X4 blue and one part to one part XF23 light blue, and it's come up with quite a nice blue for them. Um, these have ha also had a gloss coat on because I have to get all these little white decals in place so there's 16 of them two go on each missile then they go into four in each of these frames which then oops, other way around <laughs> 
fix in there to the wings and um, we've also got i think these are machine guns but these are ready to go on as well around they go so they'll fit together like so onto the outside so i'm going to get the decals applied we'll get these fitted and we'll have another look at how things are okay so i've started fitting all the weapons in got the all on the right hand side and um, before i put on the the left hand side though i just wanted to show how these hellfires have come out looking really impressed with how these uh decals have gone down um so all i have to do on the underside now is fit this second second side's weapons and then it'll get another um matte clear coat and obviously because we can see this side i don't think there's much point me videoing the second side i just wanted to show these off before fitting them might have a little bit of paint to touch up but that's nothing major and um, so i'm gonna wrap up this video of the underside here and um, next time these rest of these weapons will already be fitted and then pretty much all we've got to do in the next video is we're going to fit the main rotor the rear rotor and um, the doors that go here get these over we've already got these painted ready to go in and, and they're going to be open a few greeblies to go on the outside uh, a few more decals nothing much and we'll get and we'll have a look at the finished uh, model next episode but for this time uh, thanks for watching, keep trekking and keep modelling. Thank you, goodbye.